Hey everyone, welcome back to today's Read Aloud. Geronimo Stilton, The Race Against Time, The Third Journey Through Time. Permission granted by Scholastic. Today we're going to read chapters 5 and 6. Chapter 6 is long. All right. Chapter 5, Professor Von Volt's Secret. I called Thea and Trap. Benjamin invited his friend Bugsy Wugsy to join us but he warned her not to tell anyone about it. This wasn't like other adventures we went on. It was a secret mission. By the time we arrived at the base of the mountain, it was already dark outside. Professor Von Volt! Shh! So here's Professor Von Volt, Geronimo, our main character, cousin Trap, sister Thea, nephew Benjamin, and Benjamin's friend, Bugsy Bugsy. Before us was the entrance of an, to an old gold mine. Thea and Bugsy were chatting about Thea's new beaded uh, jeans when I spotted the shadow of my friend Professor Von Volt. He signaled to us to keep our squeaks down. Quiet as mice. <laughs> That's an expression that works very well here since they are mice. We followed him into the tunnel and boarded an old mining wagon that zoomed down the tracks into the heart of the mountain. Oh my goodness, that sounds like a fun ride. Then we got in a crystal elevator that took us even farther down. Whoa! Oh! Help! I know in Disney World and Disneyland, there's a Snow White ride um, where you can be in a, in a mine and kind of go on a ride like this. When the elevator opened, we found ourselves in front of a, a metal door painted yellow. And there was a red and white sign hanging by the door. Below, it was a panel filled with strange and mysterious instruments. And the sign says, access prohibited. Entrance for authorized personnel only. Maybe you've seen that before. And now, my friends, please take a moment to appreciate my special security system, the professor said. I am the only one who can open the door. The system is trained to recognize me. Retina reader, Mrs. I, DNA detector, and paw print reader. Wow, this is very secure. Prepare for scan, a robotic voice said. The professor put his eyes up to the camera and scanned his retinas. Then he placed his right paw on a plate, which scanned his paw print. Finally, a strange looking gadget pulled at one of his whiskers examined it, and identified his DNA, that is, the professor's genetic code, which is unique for every living being. I think I wouldn't want one of my whiskers, or we have hairs, hairs being pulled and plucked every time I had to go into a place, into the secret lab. But I understand the, the point of all the security. Recognition complete, the robotic voice said. You are Paws Von Volt. Welcome back, Professor. There was a whistle and a clink, and then the door slid open, revealing Professor Von Volt's super secret laboratory. Ooh, look at these pictures. And he's saying, come on in. They're saying, ooh, how cool. Wow, I would like to be here. Look at all those cool things. What do we think everything does? Here I see kind of looks like a shower with a blow dryer and a lamp or a light. Hmm. I wonder what that does. Maybe that's like a shrink ray or a time machine. This looks like a seat of some sort. I wonder what that does. That would be so cool. Over here we see steam or like some kind of vapor. Watering plants. It's like hovering in the air. We see a fish. Like a fish tank under the stairs. Wow. So cool. We scampered into the room. The laboratory was full of strange buzzing machines. Professor, what machine will we use to travel through time? I asked. We'll use my latest invention, the professor said proudly. It's over here. He led us to a far corner of the laboratory, pushed the button, 
and a strange round door lifted up from the ground. It was surrounded by two titanium rings, and it was vibrating like a living thing. I put my ear near it, and it let out a soft buzz. Bzzz. Inside, there was a weird transparent, transparent means see-through, material like crystal. I brushed it with my paw. It was as soft and smooth as cream cheese. I am pleased to present to you my new invention, Professor Von Volt said solemnly. That means seriously. This time, you won't need a machine to travel. Just cross through this portal. The Paw Pro Portal. Wow. And he's saying, here it is. We're saying, woo. Wow. Bzz, bzz, bzz. That's cooler than ice cream, Benjamin said. When we arrive in the past, won't this machine be a bit, um, bulky? How will we hide it? I asked. Because remember, when they travel back into the past, the people or mice in this instance in the past can't see the time travel machine. Good question, the professor replied. You won't need to hide it. The portal will blend into the environment you land in. It can camouflage itself. Oh, we know the word camouflage, blend in. It can camouflage itself like a chameleon. Wow, tell us how it works, Bugsy said. Just a moment. First, I'd like to say something to Trap, Von, Professor Von Volt said. He looked my cousin sternly in the eye. Trap, if you want to become a real scientist, you must follow the scientific method, not just try things at random. Um. Trap looked offended. I don't do things at random, Professor. I create. Because, besides, plus, it was no big deal. Just a few green pimples on Jerry's snout. He didn't have to take, make a mountain of cheese out of a, a, a mountain out of a cheese hill. It's just a little experiment. You understand, right? Vault said severely and seriously. No trap. I don't understand. I repeat, a scientist must follow the rules of the scientific method. And here's the scientific method like we do in school. You will make a hypothesis. You prove it by doing a series of experiments. You use precise measurements. You check the results. And then you form your conclusions. What a load of rotten cheese, Trap snorted. I bet Leonardo da Vinci didn't have to put up with a bunch of doubters like you. He just invented brilliant things, and everyone thought he was the rat's whiskers. The professor raised an eyebrow. Leonardo da Vinci, you say? Well, why don't you ask him? You'll meet him on your next journey through time. Leonardo da Vinci was a very famous inventor and painter during the Renaissance. Chapter 6. The Paw Pro Portal. And this chapter is long, so it's the last chapter we'll read today. Professor Von Volt pushed a button and a bright screen lit up behind him. He began to explain how to use his new invention. To be able to travel through time, you must open a spatial temporal tunnel, and it must be stable, and you must guide it to a very precise era in the past. He says, to travel through time. And you can kind of see an outline of a Geronimo Stilton floating through. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very faint. He cleared his throat. The Paw Patrol portal functions in three phases. Phase one, the portal opens. During this time, two titanium rings rotate to the left at super fast speeds. They create a tunnel that leads to the past. Phase two, the tunnel stabilizes. During this phase, the two rings rotate to the right at super fast speeds, creating a magnetic field that keeps the, the tunnel stable and prevents it from closing. Phase three. The time period is selected. During this phase, the tunnel reaches a precise time period. This is where you come in. You must push 
one of these four buttons, but be careful not to make a mistake. Geronimo, jot this down. Ah, I forgot. There will be a very loud bang. Oh boy, I wonder what that would feel like. Here we go. So it looks like here's like a manual that we're looking into. So it's like different kinds of text. All right, so we're looking into the Paw Pro Portal Manual. Name. The Paw Pro Portal. Speed, 1,000 times greater than the speed of light. Passenger capacity, there's no limit. Passenger capacity means how many people or mice can fit on it. Hmm, there's no limit. That's interesting. Weight, super light titanium. Phase one. So this is like we said. I'm just going to repeat it. Opening the time tunnel. During this phase, the two titanium rings, and you can see the picture here, rotate to the left to create a tunnel that leads to the past. Phase two. The tunnel stabilizes. During this phase, the two rings rotate to the right, creating a magnetic field that keeps the tunnel stable and prevents it from crossing. Phase three. Choosing the time period. During this phase, the tunnel must reach a precise time period. And here are the buttons to select the time and place. Ooh, this is my favorite part, seeing where we're going, what time era. All right, the orange button is to the Ice Age. The white button is to Ancient Greece. The blue button is to the Renaissance. And the yellow but button is to New Mao City which is the present. Here's Geronimo floating through, and very faintly, there's pictures of mice in the Ice Age, Ancient Greece, and the Renaissance. So those are the three places. If you got a chance to go to the Ice Age, Ancient Greece, and or the Renaissance, where would you like to go to and why? You can send me a comment or an email and let me know. I would love to go to the Renaissance because I'm a big fan of the Renaissance, of learning all about it in the history. And I'd like to go to ancient Greece. The Ice Age, mm, not for me. I like the cold. But I think it's cool that we're going to learn about it. Let the journey to the past begin. I finished taking notes and put them in my pocket for safekeeping. The orange button will take you to the Ice Age. The white button will take you to ancient Greece, and the blue one goes to the Renaissance, the professor continued. And the yellow one? I asked. That's the most important button. All right, I had to pause for a second. I had an interruption, but now I'm going to continue. I think I was over here. I apologize if I repeat it. And the yellow one? I asked. That's the most important button. Press it, and you will return home. Professor Von Volt squeaked. That is, without a doubt, my favorite button. <laughs> I whispered. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Volt pulled a piece of paper out of his pocket. Remind Geronimo that the buttons are very delicate. Delicate means breaks easily. Tell Geronimo not to push the buttons too hard or too many times in a row, they could break. Oh no, I don't think we have to worry about Geronimo doing that. Even I think the kids or Thea, we don't have to worry about doing that. I'm worried about Trap with those buttons. I think he might press these buttons too hard or too much. I hope he doesn't break it. That would be bad. He says, what would happen? What happens if they break? I asked worried. Professor had a serious look on his snout. You could end up as prisoners in time and you'll never be able to get back home. <gasps> oh no! He paused and looked at us, looked us each in the eye. As you all know, time travel is a dangerous endeavor. Endeavor's adventure. What do you think, my friends? Do you still want to go? Everyone squeaked at the same time. Yes! Of course! It's gonna be great. Come on, let's get going. I was the only one who objected. Well, um, actually, I, I'm a bit nervous to tell you the truth. 
I'm completely terrified. Won't it be too dangerous? What if the buttons get stuck? What if we all get trapped in time? I think these are all really good questions. And it says, I think it's pretty cool. It's a cage and around it has the word trapped. And then inside of it says the words trapped or trapped in the cage. I think that's very funny. The professor took me aside. You're right, Geronimo. Here's the trapped. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, it's not really working. It's not focusing. All right. You're right, Geronimo. Traveling through time is very risky. But think of all the things you di- you can discover. Of the amazing experiences you'll have. I sighed. Let's sigh. <sighs> he was right. It was going to be an amazing adventure. And what a story to tell. I definitely get material to write another bestseller out of this trip. Remember, he's an author. I took a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, Professor, you convinced me. I'm ready to embark on this new journey through time. The professor put a paw on my shoulder. Thanks, Geronimo. I knew I can count on you. Ah, I almost forgot. Take these earpieces. Each one has a small microchip that will help you translate the language in the time and place you're visiting. Whoa, that's so cool. I wish we had something like that. A chip that you can just translate any language. I would love it. Que pensi de questa cosa? That means, what do you think of that in Italian? And now, one last thing before we say goodbye. And they're saying, how cool! Yum! Cheers! Epic! Let's party. I prepared a fresh Swiss cheese smoothie for you all. And some cookies. Now I was excited. It's not every day you get to travel through time. What was waiting for us on the other side? What dangers would we face? And how would we survive in the different eras? All of these are very good questions. I felt my heart pounding on my chest. Ba-bump. 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 And I like how they did the words, like a heart rate going up and down. I think that's pretty cool. We each packed a bag with clothing the professor gave us for the different time periods, because remember, they have to blend in, and slung them over our shoulders. Then I pressed the orange button, which would lead us to the time of the mammoths. The Ice Age. It says, see you soon. Squeak. Goodbye. The portal began to buzz. Bzzz. And a passage opened up in the middle. I looked at my sister, my cousin, my darling nephew, Benjamin, and Bugsy Wugsy. <sighs> it was time to go. We held one another's paws. I like behind the words, just kind of like the swirls. Then we crossed through the paw pro portal. There was a loud bang. And the pathways in the portal closed up. I felt like I was diving into clear jelly. In the tunnel, the air was warm and thick, like melted mozzarella. My heart began to beat harder and harder. My ears buzz, buzz. My snout began to spin faster and faster. I began to float weightlessly. Images of the past eras and places on Earth I'd never seen swirled around me. Then suddenly, everything stopped. My snout stopped spinning. I fell out of the paw pro portal and an extraordinary landscape appeared before me. The Ice Age. And that, boys and girls, is where we're going to stop today. We're going to continue with Chapter 6 and the Ice Age tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed that. Read, 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 and be kind.